up a new video and I thought that I would make a aquarium <coughs> hi Keek it's my kitty <laughs> come on, get in my lap so I thought I would show you guys how to make a aquarium or you can do it in a pool as well well where you take fish tanks and you size them down and you can really make a really nice water feature I did this a few days ago for my mom I made a house for her for her sims and she actually wanted something like this for her artist so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how I did that so first you want to start out with a base and I'm going to show you how I did this based on what I did for my mom so her artist room was actually downstairs and I find that this is probably easier if you do it like this so I use the pool to do this the fountain tool won't work or the <laughs> yeah fountains the fountain tool won't work because you can't place it all the way up against the foundation so what I'm doing is I'm just putting the pool where I would like my little aquarium to be. And this one part is extremely important that you follow. When you place, because we're going to be using fish tanks. In order for it to look like an aquarium, you have to have the fish tanks fully stocked or full of whatever fish that you would like. You have to have your sim purchase those before you place them because once they're in the water when you go to click on them it just tells your sim to like swim around and stuff so you have to make sure big big part because I messed this up when I first did it and I had to take out like 28 fish tanks and redo it you have to have your sims purchase the fish before you actually place them in the pool so I'm going to show you doing this with the cats and dogs fish tanks I feel like people I feel like people are more likely to have that pack, so I'm going to show you using it based on that. But you can also get fish tanks from Spa Day and Dino. So here I have a baby Ariel because that's who I decided to move here. And I'm going to have her fully stock each fish tank. This part can be kind of tedious just because you have to constantly be clicking on things but this is super important for you to be able to have this work. <laughs> As you see, we have lots of fishies swimming around. So now the next step, so we'd go back into build mode. You're going to size these, these down as small as you can get. So you're gonna use your left bracket tool to size them down as small as you can get. Now, obviously the fish and whatever plants that is in the fish tank that moves and is animated is going to stay exactly where it's supposed to be those do not size down and this is going to be the important part because this is what makes us be able this is what makes us be able to have an aquarium and see the fish so what I'm gonna do is just place them at the bottom of the pool and then you are going to move them wherever you would like there to be fish so I tried to evenly kind of space them out now the one thing that I do so you don't see them is I just kind of cover them up with rocks so I will get different types of rocks you can go to debug for this um, Island Living has really nice rocks that you can use to make it look more realistic because they have like seashells and all kinds of different coral and stuff that you can use but for this purpose I'm just going to use cats and dogs and base game to decorate this and I will end up putting this on the gallery for somebody who if you just want to place it down you can always make it bigger add more if you'd like but I'm just going to show you the base of this so I just cover it up with rocks and I stick some plants in there and it looks really really nice once you have windows in whatever room that you're surrounded in and stuff so I'm going to do that right now 
So as you see, I placed all of my rocks down. It looks a little rough right now, but I promise it's going to look good. So now what I'm going to do is just try and add some plants in this. Now if you want this to look realistic, you can totally add the sand texture that we have for tile. Just place that down so it looks like a real bottom of an aquarium if you want to. You can also use different tiles and stuff like that because it is a pool. So you can do whatever kind of flooring and wallpaper that you would like. So I just added some rocks and a few plants that obviously when you add them to water, they don't look the same. Um, this, as I said, is just base came and then the aquariums from Cats and Dogs, so I wanted to keep it that way. So I'm sure you can get real creative if you decide to go looking through the debug or if you want to add more packs to it. Like I said, Island Living has some really, really nice pieces to really spruce this up. So, and when you look, you can see that the fishies are all moving around and it's just a really cool space. You definitely could add some lighting in this and then have it look more blue if you would like and change the water. Because we do have different water types. But of course, I'm only using base game. You can also make it look kind of mossy and just a little bit more grungy if you want it to have that type of feel but this is what I came up with and of course there's the bubbles and stuff like that it's really nice when you add extra packs into it to really brighten it up the belt that I did for my mom is up on my gallery it is a container home and it is three stories the basement counting as a story um and it's why i really like how it turned out i will be posting pictures on my instagram and my twitter of how it looked but that's gonna be it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you want to know how to do different things in the sims just let me know and if you're interested on, on seeing how some ideas might look with making an aquarium that has free range of whatever I feel like doing, let me know in the comments down below. I'm interested in any suggestions that you might have, or if there's just something you really want me to explore or build, if you want something like a bakery or anything like that, just let me know. I'm open for any options if you're really looking for something. And that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. Bye!